All right, welcome back. <clears throat> Just used the knife. Hopefully you can see the box here. I'm using my cell phone, so I have no idea what it sees and what it doesn't. We'll see if it works out, right? So this one here is a CGC unboxing from at least 15, 16 months ago. I had a couple in between that I thought were this one. This is a bunch of Silver Age, mostly Silver Surfer stuff. Yes. And uh, I, I got some modern stuff back that came back lickety split. And so I thought that those were this. So I waited a, a couple weeks on these in all uh, um, honesty just because what a bummer, right? So you send these things 15 months ago, the market's screaming hot. You think you're making buku bucks. Not that I'm going to sell any of them, but you know, it's it's nice to go to a con or to a, I don't know, you know, a, a, an app and look at the prices and say, holy cow, this thing's worth X amount of money, you know, uh, seven grand, five grand, two grand, 800 and so on. You're like, whoa, I really knew what I was doing. But <clears throat> fast forward a year or so and you realize, <laughs> I guess I didn't. So uh, the good news is I'm a Silver Surfer collector. I have no desire to sell any of my Silver Surfer stuff. You know, maybe things that I, you know, in the 90s, we were all buying multiple copies of uh, things. And so, yeah, you know, I mean, I, I wouldn't be opposed to, to selling something like that, right? But um, I'm not going to sell any of my Silver Age stuff, you know, unless I've made a deal to upgrade, right? All right, so let's see what we got here. I, I completely forget um, what I sent. And what I mean by that is I know that it's all part of the run, you know, uh, the first series. Now, I, I have all of them in the first series, and it was early on, right? It was, it was kind of, um, I was just getting back into the game, and so I I should have just sent all of them, right? You know, uh, not, not all my books, but I've got, you know, uh, 1 through 18, and so I've got mm, probably two or three that I, I've got triples of, and um, two, I think two, that I have doubles. So, you know, I should have just sent those 25 books plus whatever other ones are in here. There were other ones in here that I have no idea why I sent them other than the fact that they were old. All right, let's see what we got here. So I just dropped the uh, packing slip, so that, that, uh, that's good because that means I can't look at it. So this looks like Warlock number one, so already I'm a liar, right? You know, it goes right to the fact that it's uh, uh, other books other than the Silver Surfer. And, of course... I, the reason I chose Warlock is, you know, I think I think there was some heat going on with the Warlock character, and so I was like, all right, whatever. So anyway, uh, do I like Warlock? Um, I like what Warlock did in the Infinity Gauntlet um, and the Infinity Wars and the whole Infinity stuff. I'm not a big fan of the character, you know, um, but not bad. But I would be a big fan if I got a big number. I, by the way. I have no idea what the grades of any of these are. I was dumb. I didn't look at them first. I mean, I literally, I don't even have a guess. All right, what do we get? All right, 5-5. Five, five. So, I don't know, you know, this one's from like 1972, it says here. So, like a 5-5 five, five on a 1965, 67, 68 book, you're like, all right, you know, that's kind of in the wheelhouse because it's hard to get better than that. Um, five five might not be great uh, in, in this book, and I'm, I'm looking at the book, and I see why I got a five five. So I'm not disappointed. Um, I'm not thrilled. You know what I mean? Like I, I, I kind of got what you would expect, I guess. So you know, kissing your sister, if you know what I mean. All right. So let's see what we got here. Let's see if I can do a good job of covering it. Make sure that I don't screw up. All right. Daredevil thirty seven. So this actually might be a, a pretty good book. Um, this is a pretty good book, I should say. It's got a, a, a nice cover, and um, God knows I don't remember the story. However, um, uh, a good grade on this wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. But again, I have no expectations. You know, when I look at the back here, um, you know, to be honest, like, like it's actually a pretty good corner for an old book. It, it's, it's definitely um, weathered in the sense where the color is no good, but I don't see a lot of potholes in the back. Let's hope there's a lot of uh, good stuff going on in the front. 7-0, you know. Um, uh, so this one here is a 1968 book. And again, I know it's a pretty good book, so I, I forget value-wise or whatever. I'll look it up later. I'm not going to post it or anything. You guys all know how to do that. So, um, But I actually am pretty pleased with that, to be honest with you. So um, 
uh, it, if all my Silver Age stuff were seven O's or better, hey, life would be sweet, right? All right, so let's see what we got here. So let's cover it up, let's get it out of the table here. Let's do a little switcheroo. All right, so, oh, all right, Silver so Surfer 15. So, um, you know, a lot of the Silver Surfer later in the, you know, the 1 through 18 don't have a lot of value. This is, this is one kind of surprise because, you know, you know, Johnny Storm doesn't suck, right? You know, I'm just throwing that out there. Uh, so again, looking at the back, um, yeah, I'm not doing a good job looking at, wait, you know what? This is actually a, a pretty reasonably crisp book. Again, uh, this one's discolored as well in the back, but not as much as the last one. So unless there's potholes in the front that aren't in the back, I might get a 7-0 again. Oh, look at you. How come that's not Silver Surfer number one? Mm, I know what you're saying. You're saying, well, don't look a gift horse in the mouth. And I'm not gonna. Um, I'm pretty pleased with that. Why, why wouldn't I be, right? Um, go Johnny Storm. Yeah. All right, so I almost took a peek there. It's like a little kid's game here. All right, let's see what we got. Pick up the pace, pick up the pace. All right, oh. So this is a classic cover, iconic. It's not my favorite Fantastic Four cover. It's not my favorite Galactus cover, etc. But you know, Fantastic Four um, arguably started it all. Galactus and the Silver Surfer brought it to space. I know others tried before, but let's get right down to it. They're the ones that made it happen. So uh, anything that's got Galactus on the cover, I'm in. All right, 6.5, I didn't look at this one. Yeah, it's actually, to be honest with you, it's pretty, pretty decent shape. It's, you know, all red is probably a tough, uh, tough cover, but um, yeah, I mean, again, this book is from 1968, right? What can I tell you? Um, I'll take it, right? And back then when I was buying these things, it was Wild West. You know, you bought it off a freaking wall. You had no idea what the grade was. And unless you were somebody that was really, really into it, you didn't really know how to figure it out. You could pretend you did. I didn't. So, I mean, you could tell when something was great, but you couldn't tell, you know, anywhere in between. All right. Ooh. So this one I'm kind of curious about. This is Amazing Spider-Man number 22. Great cover, right? You know, and again, this is an oldie but goodie. I am not a um, Spider-Man guy. I, I know I'm probably the only comic book collector in the world that isn't. I don't hate him or anything. It's, it's just like, you know, I'm, I'm a Silver Surfer guy, okay? <laughs> so anyway, um, that being said, if I got a great uh, grade on this one, I wouldn't be upset. I'm looking at the back and it looks like the cover kind of wraps a little bit on the back, only about a sixteenth of an inch, but that could be a problem. I see, looks like a little piece missing. All right, so, so it's weathered, um, you know, I, I want to look at the front, but I'm a rookie and I don't want to, you know, mishold this. I, I'm going to guess just by looking at the back with, with five, five, six, something like that. Whoa. Oh. All right, well, you know, all right, yeah, this book's beat. So, um, I don't know if it's 2.0 beat, but... Yeah, no, I take it back. This book's beat. So it's funny that the back isn't nearly as beat as the front, but I mean, I think from a distance it presents pretty well, but honestly, um, it's probably a 2.0. Sadly, that's my first ever below the Mendoza line, you know, so I, I, I think, well, you know, it depends what the Mendoza are. You know, I was going to say five, but I, I, got, I did one 4.5, but. Um, yeah, you know, what are you going to do? It's a good book. So now it's a good book that isn't worth any money. <laughs> what are you going to say? Oh, okay. This one feels a little thicker, so you know what that means. That means it's going to be one of the low runs. That's, that's my guess. And all right. So Silver Surfer, number seven. And um, th this is actually a, a pretty good cover. Um, I, I, I'm looking at the back again. Let me see if I can figure out how to look at the front without messing anything up. All right, so, yeah, you know, the binding isn't straight. You know, it's got, you know, a little warp to it. Um, 
I'll be honest with you, like the book is okay. You don't look at it and say that the, that's a piece of junk or anything like that. But just because that's kind of screwy and the very top has got maybe about a, an eighth of a quarter of an inch of a, um, you know, a little bit of a, a break up there. I, I'm going to guess, I don't know, six. Oh, 8.5. Woo. Okay. That's good. I like that stuff. All right. So 8.5. You know, even though I thought it was goofy that the Silver Surfer was fighting freaking Frankenstein when he can destroy suns, I like it now, okay? 8.5. I love Frankenstein being in the Silver Surfer. It's my favorite. It's my new favorite. All right. So this one feels thick too, I think, but I'm not sure. So this is uh, fantastic. No, I was wrong. Fantastic Four number buck 22. So um, this is just kind of a cool cover. I think that uh, anybody that's a Fantastic Four uh, fan knows this cover, and I kind of liked it. And I thought the condition on this, you know, just because this was like a last-minute add-on, so I did take a look at it a little bit. And so I thought this was at least average condition. So um, looking at it quickly, all right, so the binding's a little bit beat. Just trying to figure that out. Yeah, that looks weird. I think that's just a screw up in the uh, plastic here. I'm gonna have to look at that in a second, but let's look at this first. Yeah, 8.0, so I knew it was pretty good, but. You know, actually a couple of these have that. <laughs> All right, take a look at this and you tell me, is, is that plastic defective? You actually have both sides, like you can see. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'll have to expect that later. But anyway, um, that's an oldie but goodie. So that's uh, 1972. Like I said, I don't think that's a super expensive book by any stretch, but 8.0 doesn't stink. It does not stink. I thought I had it yet. Fantastic Four. Let's keep them together, kid. Get that OCD in shape. All right, so let's go next. What do we got? So don't peek, guys. Don't peek. All right, so this is thin, so this is not going to be an early one. So this is... Defenders number two, you know, not an unbelievable book, not an unbelievable anything, but the Defenders were getting a little bit hot. Uh, the Silver Surfer, I don't have Defenders number one, and that was intentional, which was dumb. I only didn't get it because the Silver Surfer wasn't in it yet, and that doesn't make any sense if you're a collector. <laughs> so it was dumb. Anyway, so this is my first one. I've got a bunch of Defenders, but this is the first one, or my oldest one. And the back of this book... You know, it's discolored, obviously, but it's actually reasonably sharp. The front of this book has a lot of, yeah, I'm guessing like a, a 4.5 to 5.5. Okay, so I guess wrong. 3.0, huh? Let's see. Uh, yeah, the top's beat, too. I should have looked at the top and the bottom. All right, yeah. I, I mean, if I had it to do over again, I wouldn't have sent this book. It's not a good enough, you know, financially good enough book in that shape, in my mind, to, to encapsulate. But, uh, you know, I was, I was a rookie at the time. Um, this one here, uh, I peaked by accident, so uh, I'm going to show you guys real quick. Silver Surfer 11. I don't have to go through the, oh, look how good it looks, 6.5. And, oh, the love of his life. But I'm going to tell you. Every one of these books seems to have a lousy encapsulated thing. Like, like you can see, like right here, I don't know if you can see that. Look, look on the back. You can see like, kind of like, like the plastic wasn't like clean. You know what I mean? It's not smooth and transparent. So I'm going to have to look at a bunch of other ones and see if maybe I'm just making that up or if I got a bum, you know, uh, because, again, not, not, that, not that I care, but if these ever get sold, the people that buy them do care about that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? So, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's move on. Let's, let's see if we can get like a 9.8. <laughs> not in your life. Not in this group. But uh, it's always nice to dream. All right, so this one is thicker. So uh, this is going to be a, an earlier one. All right, so this is number three, classic cover. 
Yeah, so my man Mephisto. Now listen, if this guy doesn't become the bomb in the MCU, what, what's wrong? I mean, are you kidding me? What, how is Galactus and Mephisto not kicking ass in the MCU? Just somebody, somebody explain that to me. All right, so, um, yeah, so not too bad in the back. Let's uh, close your eyes, John. All right, so the front, yeah, there's some spine ticks. Bottom looks all right. Corners look like what you would expect them to look like. I'm going to guess like a six. Five, okay. You know, as far as my expertise goes, guessing a six and getting a five is <laughs> close. <laughs> you know, I'm not that good at it. All right, so let's see what we got next. So let's do this. Let's get another table. Feels like another early run. Oh. <laughs> oh, baby, baby, baby. Now, I forget what the shape of this is. I'm, I'm going to be disappointed if it's in bad shape because I just totally forget. Uh, yeah, and you say, how can you forget? These books were sitting in my attic for over 20 years. So anyway, uh, yeah, I mean, the back looks okay. Let me uh, take a look-see at the front. So it looks like a little bump on the binder, you know, bumping out like a tear, um, a little roll, top, bottom. All right, so overall, I'm gonna redo this, have you guys take a look. Overall, the book looks good. So what I mean by good is it, it doesn't look great, but um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking six, five to seven, five. All right, I mean, it is what it is, but you know, because it's you know, number one magic. I, I kind of, I was hoping I'd see like 8.5 and say, boy, am I dumb. But uh, I'm just dumb the other way. <laughs> all right, all right, let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got. So this one here is number six. So, uh, you know what? I didn't like this cover for the longest time. I was like, eh, it just kind of looks, I don't know, but I love it now, <laughs> you know. I, I just think it's a cool cover, and uh, I'm surprised it didn't have more legs. So this, again, is in the realm of, well, if the front looks like the back, it's an over an eight. And the front doesn't look like the back. So, uh, you know what? Well, there looks like a crease going across here. Yeah, that's what it is, because this book is... That's a sharp book. So, but if you look, yeah, I take it out of the plastic for you so you don't yell at me. You see right across here, right under this tooth, seems to be like two lines where somebody might have folded it or something. But it's too bad because I think without those, would have had a pretty, uh, pretty good grade. Because if you look, I mean, that, that colors, those colors are popping. But, um, you know, it's not a super expensive book or anything. Um, so, I'm not, I'm not overly surprised or disappointed, you know, um, I, I, I'm hoping for a surprise in here, but I'm not expecting one, if that makes any sense, right? All right, Silver so Surfer number nine, I forget which cover this is, let's take a look-see here, I gotta look the other way, oh, to steal the Surfer's soul, all right, so, um, corners are actually really good on this. Binding is good, except for, I see maybe two color breaks, maybe three. I, I don't see anything serious on this, so I wouldn't be surprised if this is over an eight. I wouldn't be surprised if it was a 6.5 either. So I guess, uh, I guess I missed something. But again, just so you don't think I'm on crack, I mean, it's a pretty good looking book, right? It's actually, I mean, that's a... Those two have really good color. Yeah, no, I got them cleaned and pressed. You know, uh, so shout out to my uh, my guy that, that did the work because I'm sure they were a lot dirtier than that. All right, let's see. So this one feels thick, you know, but I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Nope, I was wrong. Number 14, so number 14, number 14. Um, I don't remember. Oh, 
this is another one. Really shocking. It, correct me if I'm wrong. That is Spider-Man on the cover, right? So why isn't this one worth more money? Uh, I, you know, last time I checked, Spider-Man, um, even though he's not my favorite, he is everybody else's. All right, so uh, let's see. All right, actually, the color of this back is much better than the other ones. The corners look good. Binding looks pretty good. I'm going to flip this, try to get me from looking. The front. All right, I am going to predict. I am predicting. I'm looking again while I'm still predicting. I'm going to say an 8.5 on this one, okay? 8.0. See, I'm getting better. You guys, you guys thought I couldn't learn, huh? <laughs> All right, 8.5. Might as well take a look at that one because that's... Yeah, yeah. I mean, I love me Spidey. I love me some Spidey. Are you kidding me? 8.0. Sure do. All right, so I, mean, I don't know what the value of that is. It's, you know, probably a few hundred bucks or something like that. But, um, all right, so this one... I keep saying it feels thicker, but uh, maybe it doesn't. Silver Surfer 16. Okay, is, is that another Mephisto at the end? It sure is. Okay, so um, it's a great cover. A great cover. So back looks back looks good. Do a little flipperoo. So the front doesn't look terrible, but it's definitely worn. You know, um, 6.5 is my guess. I told you I was getting better. Okay, so, um, not bad, right? I mean, it presents pretty well. I mean, look at Mephisto is a great, a great, 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 great character. All right, so... I don't know how many we got left here. We got one, two, three, uh, only three left. I think three. Uh, a lot of cardboard and crap in there. Yeah, you know it works. All right, so this one is number 18. Everybody remembers number 18. So let's take a quick look here. All right, the back is, again, the color is pretty good. I'm going to figure out how to do this without looking. All right. Again, I don't like the case. All of these cases have that. I don't like it. I'm going to show you again on this one, but um, nothing blatantly obvious. So I I'm going to say 8.0. All right, I went back. I'm, I'm, I'm dunce cap in the corner. Okay, is that what you're saying? Dunce cap in the corner. All right, so the first thing I want you to look at is, is up here in the yellow. But the plastic over here, I mean, does it look like, you know, that, that it's crappy, you know, that something's not right? And I don't know where in the world the 5.0 is coming on this. I mean, they, this, I'm missing something. I'm completely missing something. And I'm not, I'm not like being overly critical, like, I don't know if there must be something missing inside or something. I mean, is there a crease somewhere? Maybe, you know, right above uh, Black Bolt, it looks like a couple, like, white lines. Maybe that's it. But, I mean, take a look at that. You tell me. 5.0? I mean, does that look like a 5.0 to you? No. Anyway, it's not, a, it's not a filthy book, you know. It's just it's just the last one of the series. I mean, I would have taken a 9.0, but like I said, I... I still think that's an 8.0, even with whatever it was that I saw there. All right, so this one here, Fantastic Four number 5.0, part of the trilogy. So um, I've got, um, I sent out with this uh, 48, 49, 50, Fantastic Four, of course. I, I sent out um, Silver Surfer 4. Um, those were more expensive books, and so for whatever reason... Uh, the 48, the 49, and the 4 came back separately. I think there was one other, I can't forget. And, I mean, they came back eight months ago, nine months ago. So I got a 5.5 five on the 48, a 
5.0 on the uh, Silver Surfer 4 and a 4.5 on the 49, which is kind of a bummer. But this is the 50. And when I look at this, and I do the old switcheroo again, and I give it my obvious expertise. Obviously. All right, so color break, break, that's about a half an inch. One, two, three dings. You know, it's a brown cover, so it's not going to be perfect. And I'm going to look at this and say 7.0. What do you guys think? All right, all right. So it's probably 7.5, uh, 7.0, because you know, 6.5, you know they're just great and low. Yeah, I mean, you know that. All right, so uh, let's see. This is my last one. I think it's the last one. Let me just look in the box. Make sure none fell. Sadly, this is the last one, and I mean, it's got to be number two, I'm guessing. No, I didn't send number two. What an idiot I am. Okay, but this is a great cover, and this is another uh, Fantastic Four. This is number 55. I think the other one that I may have gotten back already was maybe um, 57, possibly. Uh, this one here. All right, so back isn't too bad at all, actually. I mean, like, I, I'm shocked at how sharp the corners are on most of these, to be honest with you. They, they're actually very good corners. I mean, I'm just going to remind you, these are 50-year-old books, right? All right, so this one, unfortunately, the front doesn't look as good as the back. And so I don't have to spend a lot of time on this one. It's probably a 5.0 or 4.5, something like that. All right, 3.0. Uh, well, it's 1966. All right, well, so I can't say that it's good, bad, or indifferent because I, I didn't, these ones I didn't send like, oh, I'm hoping to get 9.8s or I'm hoping to get this. I, I, I sent them because these are all keepers for me um, and I, I wanted them encapsulated and graded. I wanted them graded with the hopes that maybe I get a better grade than I thought, that kind of thing, you know, just being silly. But more than anything, I, I just wanted them to be safer than they currently are. You know what I mean? And so what I've done is my Silver Surfer stuff. Um, I, I'm trying to get the good ones, including newer ones, um, you know, graded, encapsulated, and then I'll store them because I've got 5,000 books and i got to be honest with you. They're not doing me a lot of good up in the attic. So um, I'd like to bring that down to, you know, a few hundred encapsulated books and sell off the rest and, and pay for this, right? Something like that, you know, or maybe maybe a few hundred's a, a, a too ambitious. Maybe like 500, you know, to, or a thousand, something of that nature. Anyway, um, I'd like to tell you that this was the most fun unboxing ever. Um, that when I got the 48 and the 49 and the 4, that was a lot of fun for me because things were still hot and, and it was new for me. These aren't as exciting, not because of the grades or anything like that. The grades are all fine. The books are what they are, right? It's just the fact that, like, waiting that long, right? You know, for, for over a year and, and seeing the market do this, this, and then getting them when it's this, you know, it just kind of takes a little bit of the zest out of the whole thing. That being said, if you don't think that I'm psyched, um, you're wrong. I am psyched. You know, I'm excited to to have these, to um, put them away, and to more or less not worry about them, with the exception of the fact that now I've got to do a little research and find out. And if anybody knows, you know, I, I know that dumb thing about you know, put something in the comments section for the algorithm. You know, I got like 20 people viewing this, so so uh, I'm not I'm not looking uh, for that. But if anybody knows, you know. That, that's a problem, that, that's a defect in the cover and that I should get them redone. I hate to do it, but if that's the case, uh, let me know, you know, because I'm not sure how I would find out otherwise. All right, um, thanks again. I, you know what, I'm gonna do another video in a second. I got a Golden Apple, I bought one of those $200, a 15 book or whatever, mystery boxes, and it's gonna be a little embarrassing for me because I don't know a lot of the comics that are gonna be in there, but we're gonna do another video, so come back. All right, thanks.